hello guys in this video let us try creating a simple project uh, for using the progress bar so let's create a new project I'll use the windows form app.net framework visual studio I'll just click uh, give us progress bar app okay so I'm just selecting my location where I wanted to store create the project loading so now this is the form so we'll keep it simple so the scenario for this uh, progress bar will be uh, let us assume that we are inserting some uh, 10,000 rows into a database okay so we need to see the progress of the insertion okay so for that purpose we will have a progress bar and we'll see the progress of insertion in real time okay so let's drop a label okay so this label will tell us the uh, overall progress and let's have the uh, progress bar so this will be here just make it like this okay so I'm having a lengthy progress bar okay and let's have two buttons so button one and button 2 I'll resize the form to this much okay so we are just monitoring the progress and we'll see the uh, insertion in real time okay so this I'm changing the font I'm changing it to 10 so that it looks good let's rename the button as uh, load data or start loading okay this will keep it as close okay let's keep the form name as uh, loading form okay and let's remove these control boxes we don't need them okay so just click on the control box property and give false so automatically all those control boxes will be gone now uh, need the form should not be resized so we'll go to the form border style and we'll keep the uh, dialog as fix it single okay so that it does it is not changeable okay let's move it to, to little bit center part okay now uh, let's start coding it so the first step will open the default code default code so default code is having the class form public class form and form load pro uh, thing so inside form load uh, will define the my connection okay so what we are going to do we are going to insert into the database for that we need a connection so that connection will create it here so before defining this I think uh, we need to define the connection variables right so dim my con as SQL connection so automatically the system data SQL client will be imported next my con sorry my command as SQL command okay so these are the two things which are necessary and we'll define a variable for storing the result as well so result comma SQL string for SQL uh, query which we will store so we'll store these as string okay so my connection equals to new SQL connection within brackets initial catalog equals to new as DB it's the same uh, connection variable which we have used in the previous videos okay since my DB is on the local host I'm using the same thing I'm not connecting to any other database okay then integrated security equals to true so this is my connection variable okay now going back to the form I'm just clicking on start load okay so in this uh, what we will do 
we will disable the button one okay so whenever you are doing a, uh, a loading we need to disable this okay so enabled equals to false because I should not load it again because we are manually triggering the load okay so for that purpose so unless and until it is complete I won't uh, enable it so enabled equals to true so whatever the process is I will do within this okay now uh, what I will do I'll define two more variables okay one is for dim v underscore row value as integer okay and another one dim uh, p val percent okay I'll tell you the use of this okay so right now I'll define it as double okay now uh, we will initialize these okay v underscore row value equals to zero so this will be my counter variable so i need to insert some 10,000 rows so i'll what i'll do i'll just insert this row value into a table that's all so that's the process so we'll see how much time it is taking through the progress bar in a real time so that's what we are going to do okay so now uh, for the calculation of percent okay how much uh, percentage it has gone we need to have some percentage variable okay so so that we can assign it to the progress bar for that purpose i'm using this variable okay so we will see in detail in this uh, how to use that okay now my con dot open okay the same thing which we do for uh, previous programs okay so we are opening the connection and closing the connection within this only our database codes will be there now uh, we'll have a while loop okay while row v underscore row value less than or equal to 10,000 this is what we are going to do so we are going to insert this row value into the database so we are going to see the progress so for that what we will do we will create the command okay cmd dot mycon dot sorry my command equals to mycon dot create command okay now sql str equals to I am going to insert right so uh, insert into temp table okay this is the table which I am going to insert so I will give you this syntax for this in the description you can check you can check it out so I'm using the row value hmm? okay then comma get date I'm also having another uh, column in the database for storing the timestamp when it was inserted okay now my command dot command text equals to sql str for uh, running that uh, query so i'm assigning the command text so now i have assigned so now let's execute it result equals to my command dot execute non-query because it's a uh, insert statement so inside this we'll have research greater than zero because it will return the number of rows which is inserted okay so if it is success only this will have rows okay this will have record so now if it is greater than zero what we are going to do we are going to increment the row value so that goes for the next uh, uh, row so I'm incre incrementing by one okay now we are going to calculate the percentage of increase in the progress bar so for that p underscore val equals to v row value divided by 100 because uh, we have 10,000 rows being inserted right so far uh, for 10,000 rows we cannot straight away increment this and assign that value uh, the progress bar value should be between 1 and 100 only okay you cannot assign a value greater than 100 or less than 1 okay so for that purpose we need to uh, downsize the value which we are uh, calculating okay so since 10,000 is a very big number and cannot be assigned directly to the progress bar we need to 
downsize it so for that purpose I'm dividing by 100 so that it becomes a uh, numeric value less than 100 okay so whenever we increment the row value automatically it will be calculated divided by 100 so it gives us the overall progress within the 100 uh, okay so that 100 value means uh, that value which is within 100 will be assigned okay so but just to be on safer side I'm just checking whether that value is less than 100 or not okay if it is less than 100 then we are assigning that progress bar just assign the value as p underscore val value equals to p underscore val percent so this will give us the overall progress okay so now we have the end connection close all those things now we have enabled uh, the button also now we will uh, give a message prompt okay that loading is complete okay now one more button we have which is uh, close so, so we'll just click that so end the function okay now let us see the running of this okay so we have done the code for the progress bar now I'll just change the form color all itself okay so that it looks little bit uh, good but this is okay so let us have this okay so these two buttons also I'll just change I'll change them to white okay so now let's see the working of this particular uh, um, progress bar okay so I'll just run it I have already created the table so I'm not show, showing that uh, to you okay so now the progress bar is loaded so now let's start loading it we got an error get date function okay it should have been get date yes it is correct only temp okay we forgot to add the values here okay so now it should be okay so you can make it in the center screen if you want okay so I'll just do that as well so make the center screen loading as startup position okay now run it now start loading so now see it's loading properly so it as and when it is getting inserted it is incrementing its uh, so now the loading is complete so that's all for this progress bar it's a very simple thing just you need to assign the value for the progress bar and this can be utilized when you have a very big uh, uh, database like uh, 1 million rows or 10 million rows and you are processing something and uh, you need to know the amount of progress which is done for that particular process in that scenarios and that cases you can use a progress bar you don't have to use it for a small amount of insert like for thousand rows or 500 rows because that is all uh, it will be done in a fraction of seconds okay so you don't need a progress bar actually otherwise if it is doing in a bulk quantity or you're processing something like uh, five ten processes in parallel you want to record the process of each and every process in that case you can use the progress bar so it's a very good uh, tool which can be utilized for a bulk uh, uh, monitoring okay so so I hope uh, you understood the working of uh, progress bar tool so now let's see the uh, values whether it's inserted here so yeah it has been inserted so you can check like this okay in the db level that's all for this video guys uh, i hope you like the video if you want to watch more uh, videos like this just click on subscribe button thank you thanks thanks for watching